you're going to start by accessing the Easy Fed Grants external portal home screen, which should look something like this. From there, if you're working with an agency that allows for repayment requests, on the left-hand side uh, navigation bar, you should see a My Repayment Request option, and you would just go ahead and click that to open up the submenu. From there, you're going to get two options, one that says Search for Repayment Request and another that says Create, because here we're talking about creating those. You just want to go ahead and click the Create Repayment Request menu item, uh, which will then open up the Search Agreements screen. So again, we're creating a repayment uh, that is in response to an agreement. So you must have that agreement active um, in order to create a repayment against it. So you choose Create Repayments, and it's going to ask you to search for an agreement. So on that Search Agreement screen, you want to enter in any relevant search criteria in the Search Criteria field to identify the agreement for which the repayment will be requested. This search will, by default, only include agreements for the particular organization that have been awarded and have a dispersed amount. So it's not going to show all agreements. There just have to be agreements that have dispersed amounts associated with them. But either way, you're going to enter in whatever search criteria you plan to use. In this particular example, we're using the FANE number. And once you've entered in all of your search criteria, you then want to go ahead and click the Search button in the lower left-hand corner. From there, in your search results, you just want to locate the relevant agreement and then click the Create Repayment Request link for the proper row. Once you click this link, the Create Repayment Request screen will appear. Again, agreements that belong to agencies that do not have repayment functionality will not have this link available for their agreements. So you must be working with an agency that has the repayment functionality available in order to even access the options for it. But if you do and you, are, you successfully locate an agreement, you would then just go ahead and click that Create Repayment Request link. So filling out a repayment request. On the Create Repayment Request screen, there are going to be several fields that are pre-populated and uneditable. The data in these fields are going to be pulled from the agreement itself that the repayment request is for and include things like federal agency name, the federal award identifying number, project total, total federal award amount, dispersed amount, and the recipient organization field. So all of these are going to be auto-populated from the actual agreement itself. Several fields are required to be filled out before the repayment request can be submitted. These fields are going to be indicated with an asterisk. So basically, uh, all that to say, some of the fields are going to be pre-populated with agreement data, and required fields will be shown with an asterisk. So the first field, you want to click into the Total Repayment Request Amount field and enter the total amount that is being requested for repayment. Uh, the amount in this field must be less than the total dispersed amount. Covering over this field, though, will provide you with a short explanation of the amount limitation of the field. So you can hover over the field to just get a quick tooltip, for example. From there, you want to click into the Associated Claim ID field and enter the grantor claims ID of all the claims associated with this request. Uh, to locate the grantor, the grantor claim IDs, you can check the Claim Overview section of the Agreement Details screen uh, for that particular agreement. Again, hovering over this field will provide you with a short explanation of how to locate these values within the EasyFed Grants portal. From there, you then just want to go ahead and click the calendar icon by the From field in the period covered by this request section and from the pop-out calendar that shows up, select the date that corresponds with the beginning of the claim period that's being repaid. You can also just manually type in the, uh, the date actually using the month, day, year format. Uh, but some people find the uh, what's usually referred to as a date picker or a calendar icon to be a lot easier to do that. Either way, you want to go ahead and choose the appropriate date for that from field. And if you need a from field or a from date, you want to click a to, uh, to date as well. So you're going to basically do the same thing. You can click the calendar icon by the to field and select a date that corresponds with the end of the claim period that's being repaid. From there, on the Create Repayment Request screen, you then just want to click the Reason for Repayment Request field and select an option from the drop-down menu to indicate the reason that the claim is being repaid. And a lot of those reasons are going to be the same reasons that we looked at uh, at the very, very beginning. Then on the Create Repayment Request screen, you're, uh, you're going to enter an explanation of the repayment into the appropriate text box. And this explanation 
that should be as detailed as possible, including any clarifications of the reason for repayment request. So here, the reason that we've chosen for our repayment request is the repayment of an unused advance. Down below, we may just want to enter in some details to clarify, you know, maybe why we had unused advance amounts or, or, or just to give some more details surrounding our reason for the repayment request in general. Once all those required fields have been filled out, in the upper right-hand corner, uh, you want to go ahead and click the Next button. Uh, the fields in the certification section on the first breadcrumb are going to be populated when the certifying official signs the actionable item for the repayment request during the workflow. Uh, so before this stage, those are going to remain blank, so those uh, certification portions. The next section for the Create Repayment Request, uh, you've entered in the repayment request information, and now it's time to go to the signature portion. And just as when we looked at with our uh, claims and reports, you're going to click in the primary certifying official field and begin typing in the name of the individual that you would like to assign as the primary certifying official for this request. Again, any individual in your organization with EasyFed grants access may be assigned as a certifying official, including yourself. As you type, a list of available users will appear before, below the primary certifying official field, and once the desired individual's username appears in the list, you can click on that name. Also, keep in mind that pressing the down arrow on the keyboard before any characters are typed into the field will actually bring up a, the full list of possible users to select as the primary certifying official, at which point you would be able to just you know, scroll up or down and choose one uh, that seems appropriate. And once a primary certifying official and any secondary or tertiary certifying officials have been selected, you navigate to the next step in the process, which is the attachment step, by clicking the next button in the top right corner of the screen. On the attachments breadcrumb, the attachments required for upload are listed if there are any. Uh, for a payment request, the creator will be required to upload a justification attachment before submission. So here, we actually have required attachments. To upload this attachment, you just want to click the Attach button on the Justification Attachment line, and this, of course, is going to open up that Add Attachment pop-up display. And here, it's the same Add Attachment window that we've looked at previously. So there, you just want to go ahead and click the Browse button to load a file from your local hard drive. Uh, once this is completed, you just go ahead and click the OK button to attach the file to that repayment request. And again, the attachment title by default here is going to be justification because that's a required attachment type. And once all the fields are filled in and, and all the required attachments are uploaded, uh, the repayment request will be able to be submitted. So then you would just click the Submit button in the top right corner of that Create Repayment Request screen. And once that repayment request is successfully submitted, a confirmation will be received, at which point the certifying official indicated on the signatures portion of the request is going to receive an actionable item, which then of course starts uh, the repayment request workflow where they will then review it uh, and 